for the official introductions. We send it up to the ring to Mark Lichtenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the D.C. Armory here in our nation's capital. And now, Washington, D.C., it's time for some destruction in the district. This is your main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Junior Welterweight World Championship. And it's brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with Headbangers Promotions. All of tonight's bouts are under the auspices of the D.C. Boxing and Wrestling Commission. Commissioners Brian Scotty Irving, Viraj Gandhi, Timothy Thomas, Deputy Commissioner Alfred Grant. This World Championship bout is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation, President Daryl Peoples. Supervisor at ringside is Paul Artis. Your judges for this bout are Glenn Feldman, Alex Levin, and Michael Pernick. Your referee in charge is Tony Weeks. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the red with silver. He weighed in at 140 pounds each. For the record, 28 wins, five losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout from Patterson, New Jersey. Currently ranked number two in the world by the IBF, the former WBO junior welterweight champion of the world, Kendall, rate it And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the silver with black. He weighed in at 139.4 pounds, with a record of 30 wins, one loss, one draw, 15 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the IBF Junior Welterweight Champion of the World. Washington, D.C., here's Lamont Peterson! Both guys have had a lot of drama in early moments of their biggest fights. Peterson's gone down with early knockdowns in all his big tests. Remember, Khan got to him in the first. Victor Ortiz scored two knockdowns early. And Timothy Bradley... Got him with a right hand in the third round. And for Holt, well, early round chaos has been going on throughout his career. He's been knocked down four times in the first round of fights, but Kendall himself has also scored many early round knockdowns in his big fights. So stay tuned on this opening bell, and we will see what we get with both men coming off layoffs. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in your dressing room. Okay. Right here is good. Anything below that's low. Right here is good. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. By the way, you see those black gloves on Lamont Peterson. He was going to wear custom gloves made by Everlast to match his trunks. Yesterday, Teddy, both camps looked at them. They were abrasive on the outside. It wasn't contested. He switched to these regular Everlast gloves. The only complaint by Lamont Peterson, he says he has long fingers and a long thumb, and sometimes there's discomfort when he doesn't use the custom design glove. I'm sure Everlast took him. They make a heck of a gloves, and I'm sure his hands are going to be fine. And speaking of long, the only thing long that Peterson, I think, is concerned about now is his long jab to keep Holt where he wants to keep him and also to put bugs on the windshield as he comes forward. Peterson's gonna come forward. Come on, ask me, when you ask come me, forward, ask me, you want to distract your opponent. Back. You want to come behind the jab so he doesn't see you coming. It's not so easy for him to time you. Peterson, in his mind, he thinks hold. He knows he's a puncher. He has respect for that ability. But he thinks that, and some other people in the game of boxing think this too, that Holt is not always the strongest guy mentally, that you can get to him. You can break him down a little bit. Remember, new trainer and Jesse Reed went to training camp out in California, got in sparring with former titleist Stevie Forbes and future Hall of Famer Sugar Shane Mosley. 
Had a chance to speak to Shane Mosley just before we went on the air. He said if he stays the course, if he fights smart throughout, he thought he was razor sharp in camp and he likes his chances here. I think for Holt to win this fight, he's got to hurt Peterson early. If not to knock him out, obviously you wouldn't fight that way, but to slow him down, to gain his respect. Otherwise, once Peterson gets his engine running, I think in his mind, he thinks he can walk through him. He can start to cave him a little bit. So again, one way to keep somebody from thinking that, from physically overrunning you, is to touch him early, hurt him a little early, make him think twice about bringing that pressure. It's our first exchange of right hands, and Peterson nodded over his hold. One of the fears no, no, I'd have if I was in the camp of Peterson, I'm sure that a tremendous trainer like Barry Hunter had some same concerns as 14 months off. There's rust early on. And Peterson maybe shows some of that rust a little bit, just in being a little tentative early on. And also, don't forget, we touched on it earlier. He's in front of his home crowd for the first time. Peterson, that is defending as a world champion. So maybe that's got him a little more on edge than usual. But right now, I think Peterson just looking for the right key to that door to get in without the door slamming in the, in the face. Round number one, world title fight ha. in the books. Big changes for Kendall Holt. We told you managerial changes, camp changes, and he feels healthy again, Bernardo. Well, he's been criticized over the years for being economical with his punches, and he says there was a very good reason. Every time he threw a punch, he had problems with his shoulder, but that's been taken care of thanks to surgery in August. This is what Kendall Holt had to say about the situation. I, I'm not going to question myself when it's time to throw it. I'm not going to question myself because when I throw it, it's not going to hurt me. You know, as much as I want to hurt the other guy, when I throw those punches, it hurts me just, just as much. So this fight, I don't have to think that, oh, all right, if I throw it too hard or if I throw it and I miss it, I'm going to be filled with pain for a few seconds. I could throw it and miss it and it won't hurt. So he's got a lot of confidence, a new man in his corner, feeling at 100% physically, a whole new Kendall Holt who looks to reconquer a world title. Former WBO titleist. Won that title back in July 2008. First round TKO of Ricardo Torres. An amazing minute of action. You see Holt getting off with that jab here early in round two. So the layoff, start to put that in the rear view mirror a bit. 14 months away for Lamont Peterson after he tested positive for the band's substance. That rematch with Amir Khan was canceled. Wide swinging right hand that time by Peterson. Again, when you are the fighter that likes to bring it, like Peterson, and he wants to bring it against Holt, not allow Holt to just lay back and look for a spot to drop a bomb on him. You have to figure out the right way to bring it without walking into something dangerous. It's kind of like I say a lot of times going through a bad neighborhood. You know, you got a couple blocks you got to get through without getting hit over the head with a bottle or a club or somebody jumping on you from the shadows. And right now, that's what Peterson is negotiating a little bit, dealing with right now, getting through that bad neighborhood and getting to where he wants to get to without getting hurt during that journey. How about Holt doubling up the left hook? Did it two times there against Peterson, now working the jab. Get a little of the rust. One year and two months since Peterson's been in the ring. Little tentative, little tentativeness with that rust being shown by Peterson right now. Combination moments ago by Kendall Holt. See, that's not really the picture you want to see for Peterson right now. He got inside, and that's where you would think he'd be at his best, and he allowed himself to be tied up. 
Look, there's one guy trying to come forward. There's other guy trying to pot shot and land something on the outside. That stop, guy is stop. home. Let him go. The guy coming forward is Peterson. Joe, you're trying to come forward and you finally get close like Peterson has twice this round. What do you want to do when you get close? Get after it. Yeah, you, want to go. Get, you want to work. And twice Peterson hasn't done that. Got to let those hands go when you get that real estate. Well, that's what Peterson's going to have to hear when he goes back to his corner. Now, Bolt finding a bit of a rhythm here. Yeah, rhythm in front, where Peterson is setting up in that front door right in front of him. I think Peterson needs to start trying that side door. End of two. Brandon Jacobs settling into his seat ringside. He's sitting in the same row as Anthony Peterson, Oman's brother. Maxville Burris ringside for the Friday Night Fights World Title Fight here in Washington, D.C. Of course, Plaxico Burris used to be a wide receiver for the New York Jets. And, uh, also for the Giants. A lot of boxing fans in the NFL, Joe. No doubt about it. Here's Jesse Reed barking out to Kendall Holt. Just stay smooth. Keep moving those hands just like that. Well, move them at the right distance. That's what he needs to say. You know, move them before Peterson gets close enough to be where he wants to be, inside where he feels he has the upper hand. It's not about punching only. It's about punching at the right time. The right distance. Right now, Holt's got that right time and that right distance. Speaking of Jesse Reed, the new trainer for Holt, I'll tell you something else he balked out. He had said before this fight that this is a quote from him. I know a little bit about Lamont's trainer, Barry Hunter. He works his fight as hard. I saw one of the fights he had taken over. One of the fighters that he had take it over, get destroyed on Showtime. It looked to me like he ran out of gas, like he had been trained too hard and had nothing in the ring. So that's Jesse Reed thinking that Peterson's trainer, Hunter, might work his guys too much and leave it in the ring. And one danger of that is when you've been off one year and two months and you've been training a long time. And one of the things you always want to be careful, you don't leave it in the gym. Don't do too much. And I'm sure Barry Trainer, or Barry Hunter was cognizant of that and careful of that. But it's not a tough, it's not an easy task having a guy out of action for a year and two months and making sure that he doesn't get overtrained. That is not easy to do. Especially when you have an anxious guy Stop, like Peterson, you, you, who's aggressive, who's chomping at the bit. Sometimes you gotta throw him out of the gym so he doesn't overdo it. And again, right now, Holt controlling the center of the ring, making it very difficult for Peterson to really get anything going, to get close where he wants to be. Any consistent work from Kendall Holt. We come to the end of round number three. IBF 140-pound title on the line in D.C. You know, in the fight plan we talked about, every once in a while, Peterson puts those earmuffs on, doesn't move his head, covers up right in front. Now, Holt took advantage of that, peppering him, taking what he was given. But that looping right hand... Holt did not take what we talked about in the fight plan, but it is there for him to place behind the ear of Peterson. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you here ringside at the DC Armory. Round four for 140 pound title fight. Stop, 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 stop. I got you. There you saw Peterson. We were doing a breakdown with some interesting technology at the top of the show, Joe. I don't know if you saw it, but 
where we were showing Peterson early in his career, and then the transformation, you know, the progression later in his career. Early in his career, he got inside, put his hands behind guys, wasn't sure of himself of his ID. Later on in his career, he got inside, he didn't put his hands behind guys. He went to work. A moment ago, it looked like he regressed a little bit, got inside, and it looked like the old version of Peterson not working inside. So I would say for sure that year and two months has taken a little of the confidence away from Peterson. What a pace put forth in the first minute of round four by Kendall Holt being more the aggressor. Let's look at what CompuBox came up with in total punches. You can see Holt throwing 40 more punches than Peterson. I, got you. I, I remember got you. one stop, of the stop, great stop. boxing minds of all time in boxing, my mentor, Customato, used to say to me, Teddy, if you got your guy fighting a guy that's not known to be the toughest guy mentally, don't let him get confidence. And early on here, Holt got a little confidence going, but Peterson trying to take that confidence away now. Now mark down that left hook when they no, no. both no, opened no, up stop, 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 halfway stop, stop, stop. through this fourth stop, stop. round. Crowd reacted, Peterson reacted, and so did Holt, and not in a good way. Short, compact, and it did its job. We're going to left hooks. I think it's going to be the left hook to the body. Somewhere during the night of Peterson, that's going to get control. And there's one of them right there. And here comes another one. Lamont Peterson. See, this is what Peterson wants. He wants it to be a dog fight. Good right hand by Peterson. He wants it to be where he's pressing forward and he's the boss. He feels he can break, hold down mentally. And right now, he's in the right direction of doing that. Big turnaround in the midst of round number four for the champ. There's that signature move we, we showed. Right hand, and it got to Holt, and Peterson scores the knockdown. Again, it was with that signature move, moving the shoulder Five, back and throwing the right hand. Six, seven, eight. Tell him in, tell him in. Put the mouthpiece in. Put the mouthpiece in. Here we go. Let's not forget, Holt's been knocked out three times. He barely survived. The round. It was another big right hand that came in just at the bell. As his younger brother Anthony celebrating ringside after that big round. As we listen in to the corner, brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. He don't finish this round. What I tell y'all? All right. Let's go. One more. Come on, let's go. Well, you can see Barry Hunter, the trainer, right, saying just what I told you. He's going to get to him. And there's the looping right hand. We talked about the right hand in the fight plan. And right there, you can see it was the right hand, not the left hook, but the right hand that does the damage behind the head a little bit on the side of the head of hope you know i thought it was going to come down to right hands and right now it's coming down to two things for peterson get close put pressure and then chuck that right hand or the left hook to the body Holt trying to show that he's sturdy here in the opening moments of round five. There's a right uppercut that came in. Holt fires back with a left hook. Well, the right uppercut didn't really land. But the most important thing is, Peterson, he's got his motor going now. He's getting into Holt. He's getting closer to Holt. And in his mind, it's just the way they envision it, and the trainer, Barry Hunter, envisioned it. That you bring pressure to Holt, and you can evaporate him a little bit. Both a left and a right landed to the head there. Peterson continues on, marching forward against Holt. Holt has come off the floor to win three times in his career. Oh, hold Something hold to remember. Stop, I got you, I got you. See Holt tying up that gentlemen. left hand of Peterson as veteran referee Tony Weeks separates them.
But this is where Peterson wants to stay close. Keep nice short punches when you're close. That's one of the rules. Go downstairs to the man's kitchen. See what you can grab and see what you can take out out of the refrigerator. And right now, Peterson taking something out of Hulk. Out of the inside of, the of Hulk. And that's inside of it right there. If you're not stop, stop, sure whether or not Hulk was Thumbs bothered up. by that body attack, when he Thumbs fell in and grabbed, you were sure. Tony Weeks can't get Hulk's arms stop, off the top stop. rope. And Weeks is going to take Watch that hold okay. time the to warn him here, here we go. Time of go. a point Let's deduction go. coming his way if that continues. Well, Hulk's mind is doing what he had to do, survive the moment. And let's not forget that Hulk's still dangerous, still has that power. But one place where the danger has lessened with Hulk is that when you've been hurt, when you've felt the pressure like Hulk has, your punches aren't coming with the same confidence now. Now he's just trying to survive. Peterson and Peterson just knows, down on these shots. Well, Peterson knows that he doesn't have as much respect for the power of Hulk as he did earlier because Holt is not confident enough to throw the punches with that power. Or maybe not physically able. Look at him wind up that right hand. And the crowd here in D.C. is loving it. Peterson in complete control here as the United States Marine Corps brings us the corner sound again. Put punches together to take him out of the rhythm. Take him out of the rhythm. Okay. Tell him I. Good. Okay. Hey, you got to start putting your punches together. You can't throw one shot at a time. All right. And just start touching and get the rhythm going your way. All right. How do you feel? All right. Get the rhythm going Listen, your way. Put the punches together, says counter. Jesse Reed. Hit the body and arms anywhere you can hit. There's that wind up at the end of the fifth round. As Peterson feeling comfortable here let's go, in the let's midst go. Let's go. Come of on, his come title on, let's fight. Go, let's go. IBF junior welterweight world champion after the 14 month layoff, after the big money rematch with Khan was canceled. Back to business in his hometown. Round number six. Peterson has it going the way he wants it right now, but let's not forget. And Holt, if his trainer, Jesse Reed, is on top of things, he has to find something mentally right now. Not physically, nothing he can do about that. But mentally, to get Holt back in that fight. And one of the things Reed can maybe whisper in the ear of Holt is, hey, Peterson has been on the floor in three of his last five fights. I got you, I got you. Have to give Hope something to hold on to, to hope for. Right now, he's just holding on to Peterson. Falling in a little bit. You know, we talk so much about the inactivity of Peterson one year and two months since you've been in the ring, and he showed early. But it was so important for Holt to take more advantage early. And right now, I wonder if he's thinking, I should have maybe took a little more advantage early when that rust was shown. Now it looks like that rust is gone. They pushed him down. That left hand was on top of Holt's head, and Weeks waves it off. So let's not forget about inactivity. Holt, 11 months since he's been in the ring. Side to side, left, right from Peterson. Aaron winds up that right hand, tries to target it up top against Holt here. Final minute of round six. See, this is exactly what Sweeping left Peterson hand. and his people, and there's a good body shot, had in mind that you could break him down. Weeks is taking a look. And right now, Peterson, in his mind, oh, Holt, what he's doing. He took a down. seat on that rope. 
three, four, five. Punch after punch. Six, he was battered in seven, that attack. Eight. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. You good? I'm gonna give you a chance. Now put that mouthpiece in. He's got to survive these last 20 seconds. Body work would be the way to go for Peterson right now. Because you know Holt's going to cover up. He's going to try to block the head shots, try to slip them. But the body's going to be right there. Ah. Holt makes it through six. But boy, oh boy, was he damaged in that final minute. Well, I think one thing was answered when Jesse Reed was saying that Barry Hunter sometimes overtrains his fighters. Start touching it. Peterson doesn't look overtrained right now. Hey, you've got to keep touching him and get these rounds your way. You're letting him overpower you. Just keep backing him up with punches. Let your hands work. Get a rhythm going. Come on, son. You can continue. I'm forcing you. You got to show me something. All right. Good body work there on the inside, the uppercut, and then switching to the head and nothing fancy. Peterson knows that he has a guy who, in his mind, is breaking down. Starting to disintegrate a little bit, so what do you do? Well, you help him disintegrate. You move your hands. You got a guy that's going over the cliff, give him a little shove. Peterson giving him a shove, putting them together. Let's not forget, going into this fight, Joe, Holt had lost three of his last six. So right now, not, not in a good neighborhood mentally. See the power punches in the last round. Dominating effort by the champ, Peterson, 36 of 68. Big number for power punches. Trying to counter with a right hand there. And now just an up jab from Peterson. Now look for that signature move on the outside of Peterson that we broke down early in the night, where he'll rotate that right shoulder back, make the right hand miss, and then come back with his own right hand. I think Peterson might look for that move right now because he knows that Holt's desperate. And he might be expecting a big right hand from Holt, trying to get lucky. Turn the fight around in the fourth round. Scored the knockdown and had a big fifth round. And then that sixth round as he came on so strong at the end. Well, we said that Peterson had to get through that bad neighborhood, you know, without getting mugged. And now he's where he wants to be, in close in a good neighborhood, a neighborhood where he feels comfortable, where he's in control, inside, stop, stop, close. Stop, stop. A lot of people are gonna be saying, why is Peterson not punching right now? But what he's doing is he's covering up real tight and he's making Hulk feel meager. He's making Hulk feel like you can't stop me from owning you. I'm an immovable object. You can't control me. I'm an immovable force. You can't do a damn thing about it. I'm taking your soul, taking your heart, taking your will. That's what Peterson's trying to make Holt do or feel right now. Just by putting that pressure on, coming forward, and just making Holt feel helpless. Like, I can't stop him. Both opened up there with right hands. You can see some swelling that's been developing over the past round and a half under the right eye of Kendall Holt. There's a long range right hand by Peterson and he catches a short one on the inside against Holt as well. Again, to me, it's about the right hands and the right hand's been landed for Peterson. The other thing I'd look for with Peterson is that left hook to the body, maybe finish it. We're gonna take just a short break, be right back. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you here. IBF Junior Welterweight title fight. Teddy's scorecard, really no other way to see it. Holt came out solid and steady first three rounds. 
fight completely turned around with a knockdown scored in the fourth by Peterson, and he's been dominating ever since as Holt has been trying to survive the steady attack of the world champ. Circling on his toes and then using an opportunity to tie up as Peterson continues. Yes. The only thing I would suggest now to Peterson. Who am I to suggest anything? Doing a pretty darn good job with a good trainer there, Barry Hunter, but I want to get rid of the guy. Because one of the rules, one of the universal unwritten laws or rules in boxing, you got a guy who can punch, you got him going, get him out of there. Don't want to give him that opportunity. No, don't give him a chance to pull it out of the fight. And I think Peterson's thinking the same way as me. Heavy handed here in the midst of round eight. Headshot after headshot. Oh, he's got Holt in trouble. And that's it. It's over. TKO victory as Lamont Peterson retains his title in front of the hometown DC fans. A big money rematch with Khan canceled. And he comes back here in D.C. and puts forth that kind of effort. And now with a big promoter contract in hand, Peterson is ready to take the next leap forward in his career. Teddy, walk us through how he finished him off. Well, the right hand, I was saying, look for it all night long. And there's the right hand. You saw left hooks follow, but the right hand, one was up the middle. And then also, also Peterson was mixing some up around the gloves a little bit. He's pretty smart, Peterson. He's been taught well by Hunter. Down the middle, split the guard, and then every once in a round, around the glove, around the ear. Then there's the one around the glove. You're going to put those earmuffs on. You can go around the glove, and then you can switch it to right down the middle and split the guard in. That's what Peterson did, mix it up. Around the middle a little bit, and then what's that do? Well, that opens up right down the middle. And down the middle, that right hand went. Again and again and again. Peterson knew that Holt had dissipated, had been falling apart a little bit, been broken down, been hurt. So he knew at that point, just keep the hands going, the referee will do the rest. And Anthony Peterson, younger brother who has 31 wins as a veteran, celebrating Lamont's 31st win of his career. Let's send it up to the ring to Mark Lichtenfeld. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Weeks stops this contest at 1 minute, 42 seconds of the eighth round. Your winner by technical knockout and still IBF junior welterweight champion of the world. From Washington, D.C., Lamar Peterson! Exactly the kind of result he was looking for tonight. Lamont Peterson, up high in his hometown. IBF Junior Welterweight Championship stays in D.C. We will hear from Lamont, as well as the title challenger, Kendall Holt, when we return to Friday night fights. Tonight's foolproof punch of the night brought to you by Just For Men. This is the turning point for Lamont Peterson. Round four, Teddy. 
Yeah, he took what was there, you know, the gloves were pretty good and all, but the looping right hand, you talk about straight right hand, sometimes the looping one is the one that's the right one. That was the right one at that moment. Bernardo is up in the ring with the IBF champion. Bernardo. Lamont, first three rounds he came out boxing, the jab was established. When did you know that you were the stronger man tonight? Uh, I felt one of the shots and they hit me right on the button. And I uh, kind you know, I didn't really feel anything. So I knew at that point, uh, a few times while I was boxing, he threw some hard shots and I knew exactly where to put my guards. And once I knew where to put my guards, I started walking forward. I felt a little a bit more comfortable in there. You know, the fight was called redemption. We talked about what was more important for you, redemption or looking impressive. How do you feel you did tonight? Well, I'll have to look at the tape because I always give myself a bad grade when I'm, you know, when I'm fighting. So when I go back and watch the tape, I can give you a better answer. But as of right now, you know, I got the win, so I, I'm going to say I did a good job. Talk to us about how you were able to finish the fight tonight. Well, uh, I saw he was slowing down just a little bit. Um, I kind of spent myself a little bit trying to uh, get him out of there. So I, I had to catch my second win, and, you know, every once in a while when I saw that, you know, I gathered some energy, I would go out and try to go for the stoppage. And, uh, you know, just so happened the last time, I caught him on the rope and I just let my hands go. You have a, a signed contract with a promoter who controls 140 pounds. There's a lot of talent out there. Who do you want to fight next? Well, it don't matter right now. But uh, to real, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bitter about uh, the WBA belt being taken from me, and uh, I want to show everybody that you know I deserve that belt. And uh, so, yeah. So, 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 uh, you know, Danny Garcia holds that belt, and you know, if if they can match it up, you know, I would like that fight. And there you have it, the champion Lamont uh, Peterson. A man who gave him a valiant fight tonight was Kendall Holt. Kendall, you got off to a really solid start. When did things change for you in the in the fight? Uh, I don't know. I can't exactly pinpoint when they changed. I just think I stayed on my bike a little too long. I think uh, I would have done myself a better. I'd have done a better job if I would have mixed it up a little bit more. Physically, how did you feel for the fight? Because it came to a point where you weren't throwing the right anymore. Uh, physically, I felt fine. Um, I just wasn't pulling the trigger. But physically, I felt fine. Mentally, I was fine. Emotionally, I was fine. Uh, it's just that I wasn't. I wasn't pulling the trigger. Now, what does this do to your career? It's another loss, all against top-notch opposition. What's next for you? I don't know. I'm going to go go back and reevaluate things that's going on in my life. Um, I think the layoffs in the past years um, has been killing me. Um, if I can't stay a little bit busier, I don't know. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have to give my career a second thought. Think about hanging it up. There you have it. Strong words from Kendall Holt regarding the future in boxing. Joe, back to your ringside. And the future of Lamont Peterson. Will it be a showdown eventually with Danny Garcia? And as you see, Lamont Peterson here in his hometown, so many friends and family coming ringside. And Anthony Peterson, uh, a little more relaxed now, his big brother of 14 months took care of business tonight. What a night. For Lamont Peterson, the IBF champ, so impressive from round four onwards with the TKO victory at Kendall Holt. Stay with us, short break, and we'll be back to D.C.